Hey, I'm Jeff with ZipFit. I'm here with Drew. How's it going, guys? And we're going to talk about adding cork to your ZipFit liners. First off, the tools you're going to need to do this are your liners, your ski boot shells, ideally your footbeds in the liner, and then an OmFit kit. So we either sell that as a plunger and two tubes, or if you think you'll need additional cork, you can buy additional tubes uh, on the site as well. And we're gonna dive in to identifying the areas that Drew might need to add cork to his liners, and then step-by-step step through the process to get you the custom fit that you want for the best performance skiing. Drew, uh, you've got your boots all laced up. What are you feeling? Are you feeling any movement through your heel, your forefoot, your cuffs? Yeah, so I've had uh, these GFTs in my Atomic Backlands for one season now. Uh, they've been fantastic, but I found that the cork has migrated into places uh, and has left some voids that I want to address. Mainly, uh, the left boot's feeling really good, but on the inside of my right boot, I have a pressure point down there on the little ankle bump that is very specific to my special foot, as well as a little bit of heel lift on this right side. So those are the issues that I'm looking to address. Awesome. So uh, with heel lift, we're actually going to add some cork to the tongue of your liner, which will pull your whole foot further back in that liner and really lock in your heel to the Achilles channels in the back of the liner. For this specific pressure point you're feeling on your medial or inside um, ankle area, we'll massage some cork there and see if that helps. Or if we need to add a little bit in the surrounding areas, we'll try to address that pressure point. Um, we can have you remove one boot, probably that uh, right boot, because your left one feels good. It's great to keep one boot on, make changes to the other, see how they compare and whether or not you've improved that fit, and then make uh, requisite changes to that second boot also. Awesome, so with a zip fit, um, as you'll see in other videos, we have a cork pouch extending all the way through the tongue of the liner, and then cork pouch over the lateral and the medial side of the ankle. Um, so the next steps for us are gonna be to warm the cork. It's always preferable to work with a warmed up cork tube. The material is easier to inject into the liner if it's warm, but also the tolerance of the plunger and the tube is pretty much zero. So warming the cork tube in the microwave for 30 seconds is gonna be enough to soften this plastic so that you can e enter the plunger to inject the cork into the pouch and extrude that plunger from the tube. So we'll take a minute to warm up our cork tubes and then dive back in. Whoa, we're back. So we have our cork warmed up now. I've pulled the cork ports out from behind the tongue and over each instep. If you wanna learn more about identifying where the cork ports are and pulling them out, check out the video on identifying your cork ports. The first place we're gonna add cork is to the tongue of Drew's liner. As he mentioned, he's got heel lift, and really by adding cork to the bottom, you know, three inches of the tongue, right above where that bend in the foot is, that's gonna pull his whole leg further back in the liner and really engage his heel with the actual ankle um, kind of grip that zip fits have. So, Drew, how many uh, how many quarters could you stack under a heel? What type of heel lift? It's the measurement I use for how much heel lift you have. Yeah, it's, it's about two quarters. Two quarters, all right. So in thinking about uh, how much cork to add, you do want to think about the size of your foot. If you've got kind of mid-range 24 to 27.5, um, a tube of cork in the tongue is a moderate amount of cork. If you're in a larger shell, like a 28.5 to a 31.5, a tube of cork does not go as far as that void or the pouch itself is much bigger. So Drew's in a 25 uh, five liner with a little bit, you know, a couple millimeters of heel lift. We'll probably start with about three quarters of a tube in the tongue, positioned right there to see how that holds his heel down. So Drew, do you want to do this? Sure. Okay, so we're going to position this tube in the tongue. From the inside, you can actually see where it's going in. Can we, I just want to understand the orientation. Yeah, 
Make sure that envelope's open. Yep. Awesome. Yep, so, uh, and we can actually push that tube further down until the end is right about there. Great. Sweet. We've got our plunger. The cork is warmed up, so it should be pretty easy to compress. Nice. That's a quarter tube on the marks here. Coming down on about a half a tube. He's gonna keep on going all the way to about three quarters of a tube. Great, Sweet. and now pull the whole tube out of there. It's good to always just immediately pull the plunger out of the tube, as again, this plastic has softened because it's warm. If you leave it in there and it hardens, it's quite hard to extract. So, what do you feel on the inside there? So right now I feel a big lump of cork. Okay, great. But it's nice and hot, so I'm guessing I can massage it around. Yep, so using your thumbs, knead it around. We really want it, yep, that's about as high up as we want it, and mm -hmm. we don't want to put it down over the instep or the top of your foot, mm -hmm. you know, right from that curve to about three inches uh, above that curve, mid shin. Awesome. Yeah, I feel that moving nicely. So once that's distributed nicely, go ahead and... Uh, Pop the liner back on your foot. We'll have you step back into your shell and lace up and just see how that addresses the heel lift compared to your other foot. Awesome. So go ahead and stand. And as you flex forward, do you feel that difference in volume, right foot to left foot? Yeah. How is the heel lift comparatively? This is much better now. Um, if you are still feeling a little bit of heel lift, as you go out and ski over the next couple days, mm -hmm. it's gonna continue to really refine. Um, the cork is dynamic, mm -hmm. so it is moving from areas of high pressure to low pressure. Ideally, it'll continue to work uh, as you ski and, mm -hmm. and hone in. So I think if that feels good, we should add the same amount to your other uh, liner. And if you end up needing to add a little bit more in days to come, it's worth going out and skiing before you add too much cork. Mm -hmm. as it is always easier to add more than it is to remove it. Yeah, baby steps. Awesome. Why don't we pop this boot off again, and we're going to uh, address the little fit issue you felt on your medial ankle. We're now going to address that uh, sensitive spot you had on your medial ankle. So we're going to add a little bit more cork down to this area. With ankles, uh, a little bit of cork goes a longer way. The actual design of the ankle pouch um, has really, you know, three distinct channels. You've got this Achilles channel, which is pretty challenging to add cork to. It comes filled with cork. You've got this whole ankle pocket and above the ankle. It's definitely an easy place to add more cork or um, reposition the cork. And then you've got the medial or lateral instep pocket. And that's this front pocket uh, in the ankle pouch. This one is actually where we're going to add some cork for uh, for Drew's issue that he's currently facing. And before we dive in with the liner, I'm just going to show you on this pouch the positioning that you actually want to direct the plunger. So if I want to add cork into the ankle chamber, I'm going to go at a 45 degree angle, basically down toward the heel of the boot. If I want to add to this front pou uh, pouch, I'm going basically straight down uh, from the port toward the bottom of the, of the liner. So hopefully this gives you some visual of adding cork to that front pouch where we're gonna add some for Drew. You can see it kind of filling up there. As we extract that plunger, it's really easy to reposition and uh, migrate that cork if it is warmed. So now in that um, instep area, there's more material if that's going to help keep your foot from moving laterally or address a more specific pressure point. You've increased volume in that area. So we're going to do a similar thing to Drew's liner, uh, just adding probably about a quarter of a tube to this region of his zip fit. Great. So we got the cork tube inserted into the liner. It is aimed straight down. So you can actually feel on the inside. It is right, right in this area right here. Um, we've got about a half of a tube of cork in this tube. I'm gonna try to add 
maybe a quarter or two to start and just see how that impacts the that little sensitive area. Once again, go ahead and feel your hand in there. Feel that little ball of cork. Yep. Go ahead and just um, migrate that, the area that you think it needs to be. Do you think we need a little more or is that feeling all right? I think we should start with that. Great. Go ahead and uh, lace up and let's compare to your left foot, see how it's healed. All right, how's that feeling? The ankle feels much more supported. There is some pressure as the cork migrates, but just in moving it around, I can feel it finding a happy home. All right, well, I think the next move is just to get out and ski in them, see how that feels, um, and you know, revisit if you need to add any more cork in the coming days. Awesome.